it is the night before i've actually packed my bag my bag is 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 over there i would show it on camera but i don't know i was gonna show you like some of the stuff i was doing tonight um but then my brain decided that it didn't want to do that now it's it's about 2 a.m uh, i'm gonna head to bed um and tomorrow i have to do a bunch of stuff before i go onto the road so i'm gonna take you with me i'm actually really excited i'm always really excited i feel like i start each of these vlogs and i say i'm so excited and i am i thought that i should record an intro tonight while i still remember because uh tomorrow morning there's no guarantee none at all no guarantee that i'll remember to record an intro also my phone is right here i got a new camera so um as you're watching um let me know how you think the footage is coming out um because i'm trying new things i'm trying new things i'm trying to do better for the channel so uh yeah let me know and um oh i i'm doing a I guess this is the right time to tell you. No, I'll tell you tomorrow. I'll tell you what I'm doing tomorrow. All right. Bye, guys. All right. Um, it's the next morning. Just uh, packing up the last of my stuff to get out of here. I decided I'm going to bring my guitar with me. Um, not to play for any of the open mics or any of the performances um i'm just since getting um the poetry ep off the ground i just haven't gotten any practice time in and not to be like i was gonna say legalistic not to be like super critical of myself but like you know i'm just i just feel rusty so can you see me there we go um, yeah, so that's the fan. There we go. Look into the bathroom chat. There you go. I'm also here. Hello. I have a new camera. So this is the camera I'm going to be using today. Um, actually, it's the camera I'm going to be using not just all this weekend, but I'll be using it, you know, for the foreseeable future. Outside. Um, just packing the last things uh, into the car. I brought my switch. I don't know if I'm going to use my switch, um, but if I do, there it is. Nothing left to do, but <laughs> nope. I have to get an oil change, so that's my next stop. I'm not on the road yet. Not on the road yet. Okay, something's happening. Um, can I come in now, sir? Okay, yes, all right. All right, on the road. So what I'm going up to, I'm going up to um, Massachusetts, uh, Amherst, and I'm gonna be doing, uh, I actually have two events, one at UMass Amherst, one at Smith College, uh, UMass Amherst is a, um, an open mic, a poetry night, so it's just kind of like a, uh, I almost want to say like a regular gig, um, but uh, Smith College, I'm doing a regular gig, I'm featured, but I'm also teaching a poetry workshop. It's not my first time teaching. It's not my first time, you know, teaching in general. Like, you know, I've taught before. I did, I've done one workshop in my life. I did a poetry workshop at um, the New York Public Library one time. And I actually 
did it with the same person who invited me up to UMass Amherst. A good friend of mine, um, Lyrical Face Poetry, that's her Instagram name, Lyrical Face. She's an amazing, amazing poet, curator, writer, all of that. Um, she invited me up to, you know, do a workshop up there and kind of feature over the, the course of the next two days. So that's where I'm headed now. I have a three hour and 13 minute drive. This is really the first time I'm going to be in any kind of um, teaching position. Not position, that sounds like I have a job. This will be the first time I'm in any kind of uh, teaching, teacher, student, or facilitator type setting in maybe like seven or eight months. So I've been, I've literally been practicing. <laughs> They call it deliberate practice. I've been practicing on how I want to uh, teach and share the stuff that I'm, you know, sharing. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right. But yeah, on the road, and this is gonna be fun. I have a rolling meeting today. That means that not, not like, um, not like people are gonna be in the car meeting with me, but. Um, I, it's so funny. Right after I finish this workshop, I'm preparing another workshop, this time for high school and middle school students. So, I maybe I should add workshops to my bag. Maybe I should add it to my repertoire list, to my services or whatever. Because somehow, two of them came out of nowhere. I could do workshops. We can't decipher it because we don't understand. We don't have the tools needed. We don't have a Rosetta Stone to understand what they're saying. <laughs> Rosetta Stone. <laughs> All right, I'm at a, uh, a pit stop because my meeting starts in four minutes. I want to get myself set up because I don't want to have to be trying to connect to meetings while I'm driving. Hey, how are you? How are you? How are you? Traffic. Bane of my existence. So one thing about these long drives is that it's, you'd think that sitting for three hours is like not tiring. I'm somehow exhausted. Also, where am I? I'm in North Haven. Where is North Haven? Oh. Okay. Uh, oh, turn on the car, Christopher. There we go. Okay. Getting back on the road. Got an hour and a half, so I have a Lion King's worth of driving left. I'm checking in. Lily, L I L L E Y. Yes. Yay. It's a hotel room. What can I say? <sighs> Get that off me. Get that off of me. Get that off of me. Jesus. Oh my God. Suddenly made the decision that I'm gonna chill just for a little bit before I head out. Um, yeah. That's a nice room, you know? Here's your daily.
belly bathroom shot. That sounded weird. Let me lock the door before somebody comes in while I'm vlogging. It's so weird walking on a campus. I went to school in Manhattan, um, both high school and college, so I've never had to like change buildings to go to class. Uh, they got some beautiful art up. I'm gonna try and capture some of that. They have some beautiful art up. Um, and I'm just looking forward to get started. Um, yeah, so I got a half an hour to go. Let's do it. Thank you. Um, I've had the honor of knowing this person for, oh God, I think maybe like six years now. We'll call it that. And he is a phenomenal artist, but most importantly, <laughs> just an amazing human being. He is a loving husband and a father. Everyone, please show some love for your feature this evening. See Lily! I definitely should have gave you the new bio because that was wild. I wanna be ready. I wanna be ready. I want to be ready, Lord, ready to put on my long white robe. Um, how are y'all feeling tonight? tonight? All right, so here's what you just did. Here's what, here's what just happened. I said, how are you feeling? And you did the audience thing, and I love it. I said, how'd you feel? And you said, woo, and you clapped. All right, I want somebody to just be honest for a second. How are you feeling? Tired. Tired. Anything else? I had my first therapy okay. appointment. Woo! You know, I... Wait, you, you had or you have, like, coming up? Had. Had. Well, Woo! look at the... Round of applause for that. Yeah! My God. You know, it's been said, nail biters are cowards. It's been said, it is a sign of immaturity. It's a disgusting habit, a bad habit, a bucking bronco meant to be broken down and tamed. And we all know that there's no space to be anything but tame. But everyone does it, I think. Can you give me a thumbs up or a high, like, do you bite your nails? Okay, all right. You got your nails done, though. Don't bite them. Okay, all right. Uh, but I think everyone does it. Nail biting, I mean. Or has done it at some point. Though I do not know when and I do not know why, it may be when the child finally sees his father for who he always has been, as locust, or a river of blood, or an angel, or another plague, and he wonders which part of his innocent body he must sacrifice for his door frame. It may be when the man, back saddled with the weight of impossible work, feels the cold breath of ghost walking on pavement behind him. It is knowing how heavy a bullet can be when it carries the names of countless men and women before him, when it is carried by a badged hunter. Call it law and order. Call it thin blue line. Call it trying to make it home call it hands up don't shoot nail biting be so low hanging fruit how now my fingers be shameful how casting off of a dead thing is acceptable but only if you do it the right way and isn't that the american way the way we gatekeep how to take care of our bodies how i am worth death if my life isn't the way you say it must be you say i must be the way you say i must be you say i must live the way you say i must live and any other act is wor wor worthy of ridicule is a biting huff post article is buzzfeed gathering its pitch Forks and Fox News sharpening their spears, but how are there acceptable ways to keep our lives running? Our feet shod with the readiness of this gospel. Black men have been served a disservice. We have turned vulnerability into weapon, into blood in the water, beckoning for our own death, and we were never taught how to swim. We were only taught how to drown in strength how to let a dead thing grow and fester and gangrene our hearts into a grave long before our bodies are ready. You call honesty cowardice, call it weakness, call it not man enough, but tell me, tell me when the poison of being man enough has served you, has made you whole and not a shell of yourself. Thank you guys, my name is C. Lily. I appreciate you. 
not a professional. Say hi. Oh, hey. It's a camera. Wow. This is Lyrical Faith Poetry. She invited me up here. I did. So. Oh, bro, he just killed it. Amazing feature tonight. It was, it was fine. Here at UMass Fine Arts Center, Christopher Shaw, Michael Lilly. If you don't know his name, oh my you God. better look him up. Stop. And specifically, look up the poem Tropical No, Island. no, look no. No, it's, that's the poem it's that I wanted no, him to do the, the poem is canceled. That's no, that, the poem is over. It's Wait, gone. I am back, officially back in my hotel room. Uh, I've actually been back for a while, but uh, I ate food. I talked to my wife, and now I'm actually getting ready for a completely different video shoot. But. That's basically it for today. Um, I'll see what happens tomorrow. And yeah, that was a solid 50 seconds of nothing. All right, good morning. It's the next day. I ended up going to bed really late last night. Well, not really late. It was, I went to bed at like three. Um, I was up talking to Valerie and then I just had trouble getting to sleep. I think I said that I was gonna record a, like a, a video or do a project last night. That didn't happen. I did not do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do that this morning. So, but first, gotta get ready. I, I went to the school store that was downstairs um, and they only had one deodorant available. That's Axe Body Spray. For anyone who encounters me today, I, I deeply apologize. I'm 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 not an axe boy. Also, it was twelve dollars. This this little thing, this little thing was twelve dollars. I better not be able to smell a single thing today, okay? For twelve dollars, this better cure my depression. For twelve dollars, I better not be hungry today. All right, I'm done. All right, let's get some work done. Gotta brush my teeth. Do all of that. finished my video for um, my songwriting challenge um, so if you do want to see that definitely like and subscribe to my channel now um, click the bell all of that beautiful stuff um, so I'm gonna kind of clean the room up a little bit run through my um, lesson my workshop what I'm doing for the workshop and then probably gonna grab some food and head out yeah you don't need to see all of that so the next time you see me I will be at the venue already so bye I'm lost again I'm somewhere in Northampton and Smith College is like right there but I don't know where the specific building is am I bad at directions So yeah, so I'm outside of um, Smith College, um, and I was thinking about the fact that like, like I get to teach a workshop here, and I realized that I haven't shared why I left teaching. It's not because I dislike teaching, right? Um, some of you know I went and I actually studied music. I was um, an opera guy I studied opera is what I'm trying to say when I finished graduate school my plan was to work for a little bit save some money and then start auditioning uh, but instead what ended up happening was I started teaching to save money and realized that I love teaching I started teaching music at a school at a public school in Midtown I taught all of the grades and just fell in love with it. I lo especially loved the moments where I saw kids like get it, you know, that moment where it's like, oh, that's how it goes. Yeah, that's the part that I liked. I wanted to do more for uh, the kids that I was serving and I wasn't able to do that without a teaching degree. So I did start teaching after that and I started at, a, at an elementary school and I was in a teacher prep program and all of that. Long story short, I ended up 
uh, teaching there for four years. I taught second grade for four years straight. I loved teaching second grade. I think it was the best year for me to teach. Um, but I ended up leaving for a couple of reasons. One, my my mental health was taking a nosedive. I was burnt out. I was tired. I had taught through the pandemic and I was tired. I was tired, but there wasn't a lot of space to be tired. And this is the this is not the fault of my coworkers, not the fault of my direct supervisor. Honestly, it's not even the fault of the kids or the parents. It is just the fault of the state of teaching in America. And I couldn't do it anymore. Um, I had gotten the bug to start writing music and to perform again. And I knew, especially with the fact that I was working often like eight, nine, ten hour days, that I wasn't going to be able to do that and perform. Me, I wasn't going to be able to do that. So I decided to quit teaching. And I had talked to Valerie about it, and I didn't just make that decision unilaterally, but it was a very hard decision to make, especially because I really valued the connections that I made with my students. It was really hard for me to um, tell them and hard for me to leave, but I do believe I made the, the, the right decision. So I found parking, um, but I'm definitely kicking myself now because um, I was offered a ride. I was definitely offered a ride to get here and I declined so that I could drive myself. We'll see if I'm regretting that later. I'm, st I'm still not used to being on a college campus. So it's a beautiful day. It's a good day to get lost. Yeah. My clock says 210, so I'm gonna start. Um, welcome. <laughs> Welcome to um, the workshop um, to let you know how it's going to go. I'm going to do a little bit of front loading at the beginning. Um, and then right, I was going to say like in 20 to 30 minutes, but depending on, you know, how it goes with this huge group of people, it might be shorter. It might be longer. And my challenge for us today is to be brave. I was telling you earlier about how I'm nervous because it's it's us. And when it's a smaller group, sometimes it makes it harder for me to, uh, you know, do what it is that I do. Um, but bravery is not the opposite of fear. It is just action in the face of fear. So um, whatever your bravery looks like today, um, I, want, I want to encourage you to lean into that. So if you're somebody like me who's more extroverted, that might mean looking into yourself a little bit more. Um, that might be scary. Take some time try and do that today I'm getting ahead of myself but that is still important right so if you're finding the why is I want to be understood kind of like what you were saying or this experience happened and the feelings were valid that's that is a valid reason why you are sharing the poem so I appreciate you sharing. tell them I was black tell them I was proud tell them I was hella black and hella proud tell them I was a gospel song a negro spiritual a baptist hymn coconut oil shea butter cocoa butter kenta oil a black fist afro pick in the hands of a black fist raised in the air but most importantly before they sully my name with stories that do not belong to me before they drag my legacy through the dirt before they put my shadow on trial long after after I am gone, my name is Christopher Sean Michael Lilly, and you be sure to tell them who I am. Thank you. Um, never before have I um, had so much fun at a poetry workshop. Yeah, I. it was a small group, but they really tried to be vulnerable and uh, it's, I don't know. It, I had such a good time. I don't even have the words to express it. Um, which is funny because this is really one of my first times uh, teaching or doing something teaching related in like eight or nine months since I left my job last year. Um, and I don't know, man. Like, I have to remember that when I was teaching, uh, when I was teaching the kids, it didn't, one, it didn't feel like this every day. Um, and two, I didn't have full control over the curriculum. So the workshop I did today was specific to me. 
I'm the one who created it. All of the questions were mine, all of the comments were mine, and I guess that um, is different than when I'm given a curriculum. I worked in a charter school. Then when I'm given a curriculum to, um, to teach. Anyway, workshop is done. Second poetry show is done. All that's left for me to do is head home. So I hope you had a good time watching this video. And if you didn't, that's fine. Let me know in the comments. All right, I've made it back to the room. It is seven o'clock. I'm on my way home. But I had a great time up here in um, Massachusetts. I've been misspelling, mis misspelling, missaying the word Massachusetts forever. And by forever, I mean, uh, actually forever. <laughs> so huge thanks to Lyrical Faith Poetry. You saw earlier in the vlog, Huge thanks to um, UMass Amherst um, and huge thanks to um, Smith College for having me. Um, I love doing workshops. I love teaching. I love performing, but this was a unique opportunity. And I have some more opportunities like this coming up um, that I'm excited to take part in. In the meantime, that's all I got for you. I'm going to head on to the road, and yeah, I hope you all had a good time. Uh, yeah, let's keep being honest together, and I'll see you later. Bye.